All right, here we go. This is a brief assembly video of how to assemble the Dovetail Wallet. Um, I'm gonna make this one quick. Um, I'm just putting this together and wanted to get something out there. I'll make a better one later. To start out, um, you need four uh, M3 screws. Honestly, all you need is either like eight or 10 millimeter ones. Um, they can have a head on them. I don't like the head poking out on the back. So I have these little grub screws. Um, you can use either one, but really if you have ones with head, that's all, that's all you need. I do recommend at least one with a head on it. So to start out, you're gonna want this little hole right here to put it in that one and go from the back side on this one. Even if you want your screw heads on the front, put that one on the back. And I did do a version where I wanted my screws out front and I walked one in the back like this and then I walked one in the front later and, and kind of like did a dance just so you could hold the trigger in. That's what this one's for. And then the next one you want is this one right here. And that's for the gear. So you would probably go from the back side. Um, since mine is a little grub screw, I'm gonna go from, go from this front side. Um, also, while we're in here, these are the dovetail joints. This is kind of like a rail system where you can snap attachments in. Um, go ahead and follow me if you want to, and you'll see new things pop up, new attachments. I'm actually, next project, I'm going to put a little ferro rod here and see how it goes, so um, follow me for that. Anyway, next step, um, you want to go ahead and put your spring in. Um, this is by far the most difficult part. Um, I have, I believe this is a five millimeter by 20 millimeter spring. I stole it out of a pen and that's what this model is based on. <clears throat> but you can use other size screws too. Um, every screw I've used has been out of a pen and, and they all vary just a little bit. But this one definitely is the best. Um, why I like this one the best too is because it does have a little catch right here. Let's see if I can get it it goes in like that and that makes it so much easier some of the skinnier screws or longer screws won't catch there it'll still work if it doesn't but it just makes it your life so much easier so then you're gonna put your gear in and then this is the hard part so you're gonna I like to clip it in up here well, to get it in it's not gonna work okay so I'm gonna depress the spring like this and line up those gears all the way forward. Let's see if you guys can see that. See how the last tooth is on the last tooth of the gear? That's how it's supposed to be. And then make sure you clip it in and then get it up here, clip that in. And that's how the mechanism works. When you push this, it springs it up like that and should shoot it back. Now, I've ha been having a problem and maybe I'll work on this. Been having a problem with this spring trying to go up underneath um, my trigger. It's something I'll work on in later iterations. The spring, I just don't love that part, but it is what it is for now. Next, you don't have to do this, but I recommend it. Getting a little bit of your bamboo lubricant and putting just a drop in those gears. Try not to get too much because it will get on your cards. And I would work that in, but I don't want my spring to go everywhere. So I'm gonna do that in a second. This one, I think I did just a little bit too high. Oh, and also, um, these, uh, the hole in the trigger and the gear they're a little bit too small because they catch on the threads and you don't want that to happen. So I would get something like an Allen wrench or something and run it through and bore it out just a tiny bit. Maybe I'll make those bigger in later versions, but bore them out so they do not catch on the, the uh, threads because um, it will make it stick, just bind just a little bit. Then line up all your screw holes. Go ahead and bring this one out. You don't want these two super tight. Um, you do want them to be tight because this one especially, 
Um, if there's a gap there, cards can get behind it. So if you're having a problem with cards sliding behind, um, check that one. This one, you really do not want too tight, so just go ahead and snug it up so it catches the front. And then I'm gonna use my little grub screws. These are four, they're M3 by four millimeters. Uh, I just like the look of them. It looks slick here without a head. And I just sink it right to the face there. Same thing with this one. Sorry for my shaky hands, I just had a Red Bull. And there we go. Last little bit, you'll see um, four screw holes on the back. That is for the elastic strap that you can add on. It's optional. You probably saw these parts. Um, these are M2 screws. Um, I think I used four millimeter ones. And what I did was I cut off a piece of about three inch elastic. I took um, both of the, there's four of these pieces, the bottom half and the top half. Um, there's two, two that are the same or two sets of, or two pairs. And I glued it onto here and made sure I lined up these holes on both sides. And I ran my screw through. It actually punctured through the elastic no problem because it's kind of like stretchy fibrous. And then I just sunk it right in, in there. Um, maybe I'll make a video later on how to do that. And this is good for holding money or whatever else you want. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Be patient. Yes, this is a beta version. Um, please give me feedback and I want to know what you think. Thanks.